Howlers Gather Round, I have the dedicated Illumicrate box to unpack with you. So this is the Howler edition from Illumicrate, um, based around all things in the Red Rising saga. And I've never had an Illumicrate box before. This is a pretty large box, which I'm happy with because this totaled £60, um, which is an awful lot of money for a book box. I did not pay any extra for postage, I believe that's because it's a UK-based book box and if you are international it's probably got extra on top of that so the first thing i'm seeing coming up here is um the howler edition uh just a kind of peek the artwork as i would with any other book box it's got the kind of sneak peeks and spoilers on the back so i'm not going to read too much into these so first thing i'm seeing is hick and uh, that of course will be hick sunt leones and i'm not sure what this is Oh, oh, it's a tote. It's a tote bag. Oh, it's a tote bag. So we've got Hick Sant Leonis in a tote bag, and this has got the face of a lion all in gold in it, um, because the Augustus family uh, symbol kind of thing is the lion. And I love the way that the kind of cheekbones have got planets and moons coming out of the side on each. And of course, the symbol of gold at the top is the kind of brow of the lion. It's really, really fantastic artwork, and I absolutely love this. I'll be using this as I go to the Pierce Brown events later on this month. So the next thing that's catching my eye is a very red hat with Break the Chains on. And I complain that I missed the Rattle the Stars um, beanie in... Oh, it was a bobble hat, actually, in Fairy Loop. But I think I shall be much happier now that I've got this. Break the Chains. This is Eo's Last Cry. And it's red. It's my colour. I don't have my red glasses on today, but it will match beautifully. Goes nicely over my ears. Fits well. Love it. So the next thing I'm seeing is this kind of bubble wrapped mug. But before I get in there, there are a couple of bits in the middle. So I've got Hamanthus Blossom Natural Lip Balm by Glasgow Soap Company. And I didn't know what Hamanthus Blossom smelled like, but that's absolutely lovely. And a really, really cool kind of um, a, a cool container to have it in rather than just a little kind of typical lip balmy kind of screw and comes out and everything this is quite futuristic uh made in scotland glasgow soap company uh really really lovely smelling i can't wait to try and use this the next thing i'm pulling out here is a little pin badge by faber fable and black it's by and this has got the reaper's sling blade scythe however you would like whichever one it is um with death is my shadow um exclusive for illumicrate this is an absolutely excellent badge the last thing that is inside this mug is a fantastic little tree and it's only funny for those that have read the books and know this is Sophocles and his jelly beans. This is a little key ring, um, just a simple plastic thing, and <laughs> that's really, really humorous. I really like that. I love that if you have not read the books, if you know nothing about it, this keychain will be absolutely, have absolutely no meaning to you. So now I can finally unwrap the mug. And this is not a porcelain or ceramic mug. This is kind of a um, metal. So we have Omnis Vir Lupus, which means everyone a wolf. We've got Team Howlers at the bottom with our kind of recognised howler symbol. Um, and Latin is used quite a bit in Pierce Brown's books, such as Hicksently and Tis Here There Be Lions. And it's an interesting addition to the books all the time. So beneath that, what's caught my eye is Per Aspera Ad Astra, which is through hardships to the stars, I believe. Um, I'm not entirely sure what the artwork there is. Um, it re actually reminds me a bit more of the Night Court from A Court of Thorns and Roses than um, anything from Red Rising, but maybe Maybe it's something to do with something in Morning Star. I can't quite remember. It might be Olympus in Red Rising. It might be um, the, the Spire. Oh, it's probably the Spires in Morning Star. Um, this is fabric. It looks like 
it might I don't think this is iron on I think I'll have to kind of um sew this onto a bag when I pick one up um to show off all of the lovely badges like this that I've got really really nice so the next thing that I've got is the kind of pinwheel of colours in the series and it's got them quite in order of the hierarchy. I can't remember what all of the colours are for but I shall have a good go. The reds are at the bottom, these are the minors. The pinks come above the reds, they are the sexual slaves. The obsidians are on the same line as the pinks, they are the greatest warriors. Um, perhaps below the golds but they are born and bred to be warriors and know nothing else. Then there are browns and I can't necessarily remember what they do, some kind of manual labour. Above all of those is the greys and again these are warriors kind of more like police um, a bit. And then above the greys are oranges, I believe they are kind of tech, um, like, like they, they fix tech and chips and stuff like that I think. Um, on the same level we have violets who I, I, I seem to be thinking of etiquette and and things like that and design and art I think are more etiquette. Um, then we've got the greens on the same level, I can't quite remember what they do. Yellows I believe are medics, they're on the same. Uh, they are actually maybe on the next no, 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 they're on the same level as the violets and the greens. Then come the blues, and they are kind of almost like machines in that they fly ships and don't have necessarily very much emotion. On the next level up, again, is the bronzies, and I think they have a lot to do with money, I believe. I can't remember quite something. Um, whites, um, kind of godly kind of things they they honor people before war and stuff and i think it's good luck um silvers um who i think they're the ones who have things to do with money actually i can't remember i get them all mixed up and then gold who are obviously at the top and i love that we've got the gold and the red together because obviously got, we've got the bottom and the top joining here so it's an interesting sticker but just looking at this it could generally be for anything so after removing all of my yellow worms i come across this interesting piece of wood and actually there are two of them and these are coasters that have the red and gold symbols lasered onto them this is really really clever um very simple and elegant and i really really like it i like that we've got the two main ones um here from the stories and i will not again be using these as it will ruin them i'll just have these as decorated pieces what i'm seeing is um a couple of bookmarks and actually these look fantastic so We've got five bookmarks, and I believe I know who they all are. So first, most excitingly, we have Severo in his wolf cloak. And he's got his red eyes, which comes to light in Morning Star. He doesn't have red eyes until then. It's very, very interesting, quite funny story as well. It's very, very funny when he gets those. Um, then we have... Um, Ragnar Valaris, who is our stained obsidian of book two and three, and all of his interesting tattoos and his usually very long braided, uh, very white hair. We then have the very honourable kind of godly Cassius, um, who has quite a big role throughout the series and not necessarily for all the right reasons. Um, very interesting to see some artwork of him as he's always described as incredibly beautiful. We then have who we know as um, Mustang, but her real name is Virginia. I love the little braid that's got next to her hair, the um, kind of scepter that looks like it's in her hand, all in her golden armour. Again, very, very beautiful, one of the golds. And then most excitingly, we have Darrow with his weapon of choice and his kind of iron rain, bronze, reddish, goldish armour that is, makes him feet taller above everybody else and is just incredible to see. Um, again, you'll notice these people um, all, except, uh, all except our obsidian um, have their peerless scar, which is a, just a scar on their cheeks. 
Um, so really, really nice bookmarks to have, and I'm not sure how I'm going to choose between using which ones. Maybe I'll have to switch per chapter. So next I'm going sort of to the side, and what I'm picking up right now is Epsom Bath Salts. Iron Rain Bath Salts by the Glasgow Soap Company, and it turns the water red. Fantastic. I haven't actually ever used bath salts, um, and I think this is really, really appropriate that it's red-themed, as they are the miners. They are ones that, who dig beneath the soil of Mars, and it's going to make my bath water look like it's coming on Mars. It's going to be like the red planet. Fantastic idea. I've then got some socks and these look like they are to do with the Institute. I think they've got all of the... Um, all of the different houses that we've got in the Institute, which is in the very first book. Um, so lots of different symbols along there, gold to the top and bottom, um, and then red at the heel, again, keeping with our main colors for the series. A really, really nice exclusive at our crate. Hopefully they'll fit. So what I've got on top now is a little Pierce Brown Iron Rain. <laughs> Iron Rain, no, Iron Gold signed book plate um that i can stick into the book that we've got at the bottom of this however i know that he's coming to two signings on the 29th and 30th of this month and therefore i'll just take the book there and i'll keep this and now we have on this lovely textured piece of paper a um, typed letter from Pierce Brown, which I'll read to you now. Dear Illumicrate readers, I was a strange kid, at least by the metrics of middle school popularity. I loved stories, mythologies, fairy tales and legends, but had trouble relating to the people and the world around me. Maybe it was brought on by the fact that my family never lived in a city for more than three years at a time. My home, my friends were changing seasons in my life. But stories are, stories are forever. And the characters that fill them, immortal friends. I found my refuge in books, whole worlds to explore, from Hogwarts to the Misty Mountains. I could be a wizard, a knight, a Jedi, and for a long list of reasons, fictional worlds made more sense to me than the one I lived in. But as I grew older, as I gained confidence in myself, I began to see how much of the strength I have in my life and much of the way in which I make sense of the world around me comes from these stories I read as a kid. There's more than a little wrong with the world around us. Much of it seems impossible to fix. Often it seems difficult to even have a voice. I suppose it was for that reason that I created the Red Rising Saga, in order to give myself a voice to illustrate what I think is wrong and right in our world. In many ways, I created him to find myself. Red Rising is the story of Darrow, a young man who has accepted his lot in life, to sacrifice and toil deep beneath the crust of a future Mars so that others can thrive and in luxury on the terraformed planets of the solar system. But when tragedy, tragedy strikes Darrow, he must choose if he will surrender to his own sadness or to fight and find the strength to make a difference. He chooses to fight, to sacrifice himself so that he can correct the injustices he sees in the world around him. In his quest, he explores alien seas, rides starships across the solar system, leads a rebellion against tyranny and finds that his enemies are not all as his evil... And finds that his enemies are not all as evil as he supposed. I wrote Darrow at a pivotal moment in my life when I was struggling to discover who I wanted to be. Writing him gave me the power to shape my life and the courage to have a voice. I hope he inspires you in equal measure and that you continue to have a wild, bloody, manic joyride through the Red Rising Saga. Much love, Pierce Brown. That's a really, really, really lovely letter. Usually we don't get quite so much from an author. That's... Um, Really, really insightful. The next we have this Illumicrate exclusive gold per Aspera ad Astra um, book, uh, notebook even, just a lined ruled notebook. Again, when am I ever going to use this? It's too beautiful to stain with my sloppy handwriting. And here we have a fantastic piece of artwork. We have Darrow and Severo with their respective kind of weapons and helmets fist bumping with the red planet Mars in the background. Next we have something that's really quite interesting and incredibly useful. It's a 2018 calendar um, featuring the words of Pierce Brown. So let's have a quick look through it. I haven't got a calendar left this year and hopefully um, actually this looks like it'll be good. Um, at least when the year is over I'll be able to kind of cut this off and keep the quotes because you know calendars you end up throwing away halfway through year. So here are the quotes. January, friendships take minutes to make, moments to break, years to repair. Um, that was by Roke in Golden Sun I believe. I won't be getting all these right so don't count on me. I would have lived in peace but my enemies brought me war. 
uh, brought war even for February. That's a quote that kind of runs through the entire series. I'm not sure if it started from the very first book by Darrow. The Reaper has come and he's brought hell with him. Again, could be from any book in the series, most likely to be the first though from March. Here in April we've got man cannot be freed by the same injustice that enslaved it. My goodness, that's that's beautiful. Cannot remember which book it's from. May. The measure of a man is what he does with his power. That sounds like something from more, more likely Golden Sun as things get a little bit more political, but it could very well be Red Rising too. Wise men read books about history. Strong men write them. That has to be Golden Sun after he's met Lorne. Um, again, that could be a Lorne or a Daryl quote there. So that's June. <laughs> July. Shit escalates. <laughs> In August, we have tactics win battles, strategy wins wars, um, Darrow or Roke, I reckon, in Golden Sun. September, home isn't where you're from, it's where you find light when all grows dark. Probably also Golden Sun, um, Darrow when talking to Mustang. October, a fool pulls the leaves, a brute chops the trunk, a sage digs the roots. I don't remember where that one's from, I feel like it might be Morning Star. Words are a weapon stronger than he knows, and songs are even greater. The world wakes, the worlds wake the mind, the melody wakes the heart. November, that might be Morning Star as well. My son, my son, remember the chains when gold ruled with iron reins. We roared and roared and twisted and screamed, but ours a veil of better dreams. December, now that comes from the very first book, um, when all of the horror starts to happen and shit escalates. Of course, last things last, but most importantly, we have the book in here this is no there's no kind of special thing to this book it is just as it is and seeing as i'm going to get this signed and i think people have missed an opportunity i am going to try and spray this gold people have not gone for the gold option we've got black sprayed edges with waterstones red sprayed edges with gold spray books but no one has gone with gold i don't understand i'm gonna try and do gold um, by myself get some spray paint and go for it especially if this is going to be a personalized copy so it won't be worth anything to anybody else I'll tape it up and give it a go and um, maybe I'll try on something less important first though <laughs> sorry guys my camera decided to cut me off and I've lost all sorts of daylight outside um, and my lighting in here is not particularly good but to wrap up that was the Howler edition book box by Illumicrate it cost me 60 pounds no postage as I was in the UK and I think for one that it was an absolutely excellent box great value for money and I will be using Illumicrate again because I was very very impressed and I hope for those of you that perhaps did not buy the box because of the mystery element you didn't know if it was going to be worth it now have an idea as to whether you would like to buy the box because as of now the box is still available to buy on the Illumicrate site so do go and buy it snatch them up before they all disappear I know that the Grisha box is still available and that's been out for a while but I don't know whether they continue to stock these items or they stock a certain amount and keep them I don't know how it works so grab it whatever you can Thank you so much for watching. Howlers for life. Ow!